Suppose our programs needed to do with other kinds of animals, but only tigers or snakes. In this case, our representation step, we're going to notice the or there, that there are two different kinds of things we want to, uh, to work on, and so that means a type with multiple constructors, or exactly two constructors, since we have tiger or snake. For tiger, we have to think about what we care about, what's relevant to our problem, but let's suppose that color and stripe count is what I care about for tigers, where for snakes I care about color, how much they weigh, and what their favorite food is. And then let's suppose the function I'm trying to write is is heavy animal that takes an animal and reports whether it's heavy or not. So this animal part is where I did the data analysis and figured out my representation for snake and tiger animals. Moving on to the example section then, I need examples of calling is heavy animal, and here is where we end up clarifying from the problem statement and from our examples what heavy means. Um, I'm going to say that just all tigers are heavy. Um, notice I'm not even tracking their weight because I just know tigers are heavy. So we're always going to return true uh, for any sort of tiger example that we write. But as I'm writing examples for is heavy animal, uh, since it takes an animal there are two choices. So I should at least have another example that uses the other choice here of animal, a snake. And in the case of snakes, we're going to say that 10 pounds or heavier um, is a, is a, counts as a heavy snake. If it's 9 or lighter, uh, then we'll call that a light snake. So when you consider whether you have enough examples, you need to make sure that you cover all cases in your chosen data type, in this case covering tiger and snake, and then again consider any sort of boundary cases or when you return a boolean, make sure you have true and false cases if possible. And you should make sure you have true and false cases if possible for every kind of animal. Tigers we can't get to a false case, but snakes we can, so let's make sure we have a, an example showing when a snake uh, is, uh, is, is not heavy. So again, the information about is heavy would come from the problem statement generally, but examples also help you refine that and make some decisions if you have to, and document those decisions with examples. For the template step, we are, we're writing the function is heavy animal. We know that we have an animal to work with. If we use match, that reminds us that we have two possible cases to deal with. Right? So here's where the template is really starting to help us by setting up the right structure. Uh, it's almost impossible to write is heavy animal without considering tiger cases and snake cases, and you need to use some of the fields, at least in general, for some of, the, for some of these uh, possibilities. All the fields, we write them down to remind ourselves we have to work with, but they're just symbols and integers, not any other types that we wrote, so we don't expect to need any helper functions here. And we can move on to the body step. Looking at our examples, which uh, don't fit on the slide, but for tigers, our examples show that it's always true, and for snakes, we work out that the key thing was whether the weight is greater than 10, uh, so we finish up the function this way. And we run our test as a last step, and of course they will pass. So again, what the template did, it gave us most of the function. It told us to use match to consider all the possible cases, and then we just had to work case by case here in the different match cases corresponding to different examples to, to fill out the right answers.